morning everyone today we're gonna talk about ECA and how you can uh, actually apply that on WES so we're gonna go through the WES free tools which is the free degree equivalence tool and how to create a profile on WES and actually how to apply on WES to get your ECA uh, report get started if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do that by sub by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell in order to know a lot of information about how to immigrate to canada the easy way and while saving a lot of money so let's jump into the laptop and see how the process works okay so to access wes what we need to do is uh, that we go to google type down west canada We go to the website, which is the first uh, suggestion we get on Google. We need to here specify West Canada here. It's already specified. If you want West United States, you can specify West United States. Uh, we're going to start with the free tools. Uh, this includes uh, the evaluation and fees. OK, so we need to here specify immigration because we're applying to IRCC. And here you can see uh, you have a sample report that you can check. Okay, here how your report will eventually look when you uh, when you get uh, your evaluation. Okay, so we go back here. You can meet the requirements. Uh, please take note that Wes is valid for five years from the date of issue. So uh, you have you can apply at any time you have five years uh if you're working on your express entry it will last for five years uh here you have all the information the process time is about 35 days okay uh, here what you will get they will directly email your uh, report to ircc so they will know that you are applying for uh, to immigrate to canada and here you have a list of all the additional fees the initial fees are 220 canadian dollars per applicant okay so another free tool is tools we go here to tools and advice free tools is the degree equivalency preview so here uh you can just see a preview on uh almost how your uh, credential will will what will your credential be equivalent to uh, so this is a free tool and it does not uh, it's not official however just for you to get started and if you're not sure about what your de degree is equivalent to in canada here you can have an idea so here i'm gonna go through it fast my last name data tamer okay country of residency lebanon here i can I will write down my email address again okay continue so again country where i had my education lebanon so here i choose bachelor of business administration because this is actually what i did and my major marketing years of studies for and here i get the option to search for my institution so i press here okay search i here i have a list okay so i choose my university Press continue. Okay, so and that's it. It's done here. If I press continue, I will receive an email with uh, what will my uh, degree be equivalent to in Canada. So, okay, so let's start by applying to uh, get our credential. Uh, evaluated so we want this evaluated in canada so press canada here 
okay we want this for our immigration so need to specify this okay here they note that it requires separate account for each individual applying for a credential evaluation so if you're two people applying to go to canada each one will need a separate account so i'm gonna now create my account by writing down my information okay well, i'm gonna write like put anything here five okay i don't have a reference number email address anything Come. just to create an account okay here need to put write down a password Okay, so you go to this page here. You can see your uh, they ask you for your information, your evaluation, your education, and report. Okay, so here uh, by default they took the information that I wrote down previously. Male gender here, they are false. However, you should write your real information. It's very important here that you write down your actual uh, address and where do you live exactly because they will they will mail you uh, your report uh, as if in, in physical physically uh, so it's very important that you write down these information well so i'm gonna put down like anything beirut city beirut okay just to go further here you write down your telephone number other okay So I'm just writing down anything, everything. So here's the great question. Okay, next. Okay. And this is the part where you're more interested in. So here you need to add your credentials. Okay, now country of education. So you need to choose your country where you had your education, type of education if it's uh, secondary education or higher education so if you're applying uh, if you want to send your uh, uh, university degree so it's higher education name of institution here you will have a drop down with the list of uh, institutions i'm choosing mine name or diploma of uh, certificate so also you will get a drop down where you can choose okay mm -hmm. you write down your information year awarded so the year that you have graduated from 2009 let's say till 2014 field of study marketing and you go you save this okay here you have like for example if you had like uh, you have a bachelor degree and you have a master's degree so you need to uh, to send both uh, if you have only a bachelor degree you don't need to send your uh, high school uh, uh, certificate however you just need to send your bachelor however when you if you have a master's degree you need to uh to put both so here let's say i'm going to send my uh, master's degree as well because i get higher uh score uh, on my express entry so okay name of diploma here i'm gonna put down masters
masters in architecture. So you see what I'm doing, same thing, click save, move on. Next. Okay, here, uh, okay, here you need to, uh, to go back and look that all the information were written down uh, well. And here they will tell you that uh, IRCC is already added. So uh, no need to add uh, a report for IRCC. They already sent, uh, they will already, they will by default send actually uh, your report to the IRCC. If you want uh, if you have any province uh, nominee program that you want them to receive uh, your application, you can add them here. Okay, so PNP search. Okay, let's say Ontario. Here, Ontario. So you have Ontario Immigration Nominee Program that let's say I want to add, add this recipient. This, this will be added later on. So next, okay, here the evaluation type, immigration processing time. So this is the fees that I'm gonna pay, pay, be paying next. Okay, so here I this uh, I will need to decide where uh, how I'm gonna receive my uh, my application. So I have two options: either standard, which, which will take a lot of time to receive the actual physical uh, uh, the physical document, the report, uh, or you can choose here uh, international courier like UPS, the NT, or the HL, uh, where you would receive uh, your physical report. After a few days of uh, of being uh, finalized, so let's say I I will go with standard because I don't I'm not really in a hurry. Next, okay. So okay, and this is very important. Please note this down here. Uh, once you finish all these steps, you will receive a reference number which will be emailed to you. So no need to worry about or write down anything now. Uh, this is the the actual. Uh, this is actually where you will be sending your courier to. So uh, so it's very important to write this uh, a postal code, uh, postal uh, address uh, on, your, on, on, your, on all your emails, your mail that you will be sending. Okay, checklist requirements. Okay, so here you have like two options. You can either go yourself and tell the institution to send it directly to us, or if you have like, for example, uh, different certifications from different universities, you will go collect uh, in a sealed envelope your documents and then take them yourself and send them by courier to us. So you have both options. Some universities send them directly, others uh, uh, give you your documents and you will send them yourself. So uh, uh, what you will need Okay, so what are the required documents? Uh, you need to uh, give an academic transcript, uh, which is relevé de not uh, in French. So this needs to be an official document from the university or institution that you uh, you had your education in. In a sealed envelope, here they specify that it needs to be in a sealed envelope that is signed, stamped across the black flip by the operator official at, at the institutions. Most institutions usually uh, know that already. Okay, so and they tell you that if the envelope is opened or there is no stamp or signature or plus black flap, West cannot accept the document. So please take note in this. Also, you need to send a degree certificate. Uh, which you can also include it in the in the envelope, or you can here uh, upload a clear and eligible copy of this document in my account. So uh, these are the two needed documents. 
Okay. Uh, helpful forms. Here, uh, I suggest you do that to download this form. which you can fill like immediately like it takes two minutes to fill and you will give or you can give it to the institution so they can fill it on and this will make it uh, easier here you have your reference number so it will make it clearer and uh, easier for you to uh, get your documents uh, right uh, you can uh, fold this give it to the institution and they will include it in your envelope as well so uh, in order to make everything clear and to miss any co uh, confusion so going back here after you finish click next okay here you can review everything okay the information definitely i gave like all the information wrong however you will give them here because i added the ontario immigration nominee so my uh, charges uh, went up to 270 dollars but if you don't specify this you will only pay like uh, 240 dollars canadian dollars okay so i need to authorize all of this before i click next and just by clicking next i will go to the payment okay i'm gonna go through it Click confirm. Okay, continue. Okay, so here uh, I can pay either by credit card or by Western Union. So this is the final step where you write down your credit card details or you decide to pay by Western Union online money transfer. So you have this option as well, or you can pay by money order or check. So you have three options to pay. You choose whatever suits you and uh, you finalize this. After the step, you just write down your information on how you would pay and submit your application. After that, you will receive an email where uh, you have all the information down and uh, the next step will be to go to university and actually send the documents. So that's it.